Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm talking about the trip the $9 single board computer. Let's open these tiny bags and start the music. In the front we have the 4 GB storage and this is the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from Realtek. Single USB female connector, the audio video connector and the micro USB connector for the power. Here we have the battery connector and the power button. On the other side of the chip we have the 1 GHz all winner R8 and this is the 500 12 megabytes of RAM and finally we have a lot of GBIOs well labeled on both sides I wish if the Raspberry Pi have uh, have these labels for the display connectivity you can connect the chip to any display but out of the box you will need an audio video or RCA cable to connect it to a TV but this is a, a low uh, resolution this display is a low resolution if you have if you want to have um, a better or HD resolution um, you can uh, purchase an additional adapter or a dip as they used to call it there is a Vega dip and HDMI dip I've got my HDMI dip for extra $15 uh, the HDMI connector only co carry video and uh, for the audio you can use the AV connector because the chip does not have a digital audio encoder on the board it's only uh, analog video analog audio sorry and I had also I had a problem with the display's resolution my monitor keeps saying that this is not a, dis uh, a recommended display so I had to change it to a lower resolution and the chip does not save these settings so every time I go and boot uh, the system um, I had to repeat the process of changing the resolution again. The operating system. The chip comes with pre-installed operating system which is customized version of Debian. Of course it's recommended to update it once you get connected to the internet. For the application menu, there is many apps installed including games, graphics apps. Check these apps out and it's familiar with the one that you can get it on the Raspberry Pi or any Linux based operating system. The videos and playing media videos and browsing. Uh, simply never try. The browser takes some time to load and it's uh, for simple browsing it was okay but uh, I actually I don't recommend it it's so slow and you, you will not um, be able to uh, serve the internet properly for example you cannot um, watch videos on YouTube or just maybe simple browsing for the internet and for the video playing I've tried the 1080p video As you can see, it's very laggy. Uh, there is no audio because the HDMI cable does not uh, carry audio, and it's it's very very slow. you hear I'm uh, keeping the real uh, speed that you can uh, see uh, the performance as it is with no editing
let's say try playing something more um, less quality than at an 80p let's try 720p uh, this is a sample for my son running in a garden uh, it's not uh, viable at all in comparing with uh, the raspberry pi it's way more better to our in handling videos maybe like one frame per second or something anyway let's try uh, let's close this one and never try it again <laughs> And for networking and file sharing, uh, similar to the Raspberry Pi, you can log into the chip using SSH, um, using Body. You can just add the host name at chip at chip.local, and the default password is chip, all uh, in lowercase. I found chip is very useful when playing games. Uh, there is um, some games installed with the system, which is the first one is called Alex the Alligator 4. Uh, it was a nice and uh, simple platformer games, kind of a retro Mario game. And the second one called Spout, I think uh, uh, th this is also cool, but uh, I did not understand it so well. I I don't, I'd, I'd like to enjoy the games with um, better graphics and like some shiny graphics. Uh, so I have installed the DOSBox using sudo apt get install DOSBox and um, I've created a folder on my desktop called the games and in the DOS uh, and in the DOSBox setting I have um, changed the setting to go and play games in that folder and um, you can get games uh, from the link in the description I have also played and enjoyed the sky roads the sky roads is one of my favorite games of all time this is this is an amazing games guys you should try if you if you don't know it now after that what we can do with the chip uh, in my opinion i see that the this is is amazing device to play games and if you would like to make it um, as a, a web server i've installed apache at my sql and also uh, installed a drover on that and it will uh, the web server is working perfectly um, If you guys want more about the chip or need help, just comment below the video or send me a tweet on Twitter. And I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a nice day.